TYT Sports locked out. Yeah, unfortunately, we're locked out. But what's more unfortunate is what occurred last night in Game 3 of the Blackhawks and Coyotes game where Rafi Torres had an illegal and brutal and dirty hit on Marion Hossa. If you, miss, if you missed it, watch the top right part of your screen. Here it is. Going first in each of the first two games, Coyotes would then take a one-goal lead before Chicago tied both games late. Did you miss it there? Don't worry. Here it is in slow motion. One more look. There it is. Torres on Hosa. A barbaric and brutal, brutal hit that Rafi Torres gave Marion Hosa last night. Unfortunately, the Coyotes broadcasters saw it a little differently. Uh, Matt McConnell and Tyson Nash, Nash the former fourth liner and pest in the NHL that played for the Blues, Coyotes, and Maple Leafs. Listen to what they said. Ridiculous. Right out of the zone. This one's knocked away. Torres that time got Marion Hosa. Wow, I, I didn't see this live. I have to see another look at this as they're attending to Marion Hosa. He just gets rocked. All right, he claims he didn't see it. Okay, well, here's another chance to see it. What does Nash say? Listen. And here's the hit on Olsen, Rafi Torres, and there's Hosa right there. He cuts to the middle and takes that left shoulder right on the money. That is as clean of a hit as you're going to get. As clean as it gets? Are you fucking kidding me? Let's break down why it's not as clean as it gets. Let's show the slow motion once more. All right, firstly, he does not have the puck. Where's the puck? TSN's Bob McKenzie tweeted this out after he saw the hit. From the time Hosa loses puck until contact, it was .83 seconds. In relative terms, that is considered quote-unquote late. Good job, Bob McKenzie, on covering this. Secondly, Torres leads with his shoulder, launching himself into Hosa. And third, he leaves his skates. That is illegal. It is ridiculous that, by the way, a penalty wasn't called. Who was the penalty called on? Brandon Bolig, two minutes for roughing, uh, a 10-minute misconduct for sticking up for his guy and going after Rafi Torres. I'm not sure how one could argue that there wasn't malicious intent when Rafi Torres leaves his skates, with skates with it, which is illegal, and just launches himself into Hosa, throwing his left shoulder and connecting with Hosa's jaw. So Hosa would go on a stretcher. Torres, however, no sus a suspension will be coming. Uh, he's suspended indefinitely, but no penalty at all on this play. You know why? Because the four referees working this game missed the call. So I want to go back to the video. It's impossible that they missed the call. Watch. They're right into the jaw. There's the puck. Keith Yandel separates at 1-1000, 2-1000. And Rafi Torres, I, I don't... The referee flinches at how hard of a hit it was. So obviously they covered it up by saying that they missed the call when really he saw it and thought it was a clean hit when clearly, clearly it wasn't. By the way, the referees in this game, Stephen Walkham, Ian Walsh, Brad Lazarowicz, and Johnny Murray. Walkham and Ian Walsh were game two of the Senators-Rangers game, which got completely out of hand. So these guys uh, are def should be on the hot seat. They should even be suspended for missing this call, a, a huge, huge no call in this game. And Torres was able to finish the game. Ridiculous, man. Here's a screenshot, by the way, in case you just missed that video, of, a, of the referee clearly looking at uh, Torres leaving his feet and hitting Hosa. Here's Joel Quinville giving it to the referees after the game. No, it was a, it was a brutal hit. It's a, you, know, you could have a multiple choice question, it's all the above. I saw exactly what happened, and it was right in front of me how four guys missed it. It was, it was hard. The referee tonight was a disgrace. You know, the amazing thing is Joe Quinville will probably be fine, but he's, he's totally in the right for saying what he said. It is a disgrace. There's no excuse for it. They missed the call. A guy got taken out on a stretcher. Hosa went to Northwestern Memorial Hospital, and actually uh, he, he was able to leave uh, the hospital under his own power. However, he's not going to be playing again. He may, it, the rumor was he suffered a broken jaw. We'll see as more comes out. 
However, here's Rafi Torres in his post-game comments. Part of the hip was, felt like it was a hockey player, just trying to finish my head out there. And, uh, I'm say, so I'm sorry. Are you concerned at all that you, you left your skates and what might happen? Anything else? That's it, that's one question. A one-answer post-game for Rafi Torres, good for you. Leaving the interview after being asked if he will be suspended. Uh, Coyotes PR jump in. Here is Jonathan Taze on whether he thinks Torres will be suspended. Who knows? I mean, uh, I really I don't know what to expect anymore. I don't think anyone does. Um, so we'll see. It would probably be a surprise, I guess. Jonathan Taze, the captain of the Blackhawks, telling it like it is. I don't know what's going to happen. We'll see if there's a suspension. You don't really know anymore. You know why? Because Brendan Shanahan has totally effed up his suspensions in, in this postseason. He started with Shea Weber getting a $2,500 fine for slamming Henrik Zetterberg's head against the boards twice and no games. But then he goes and suspends Andrew Shaw for three games for connecting uh, his shoulder accidentally uh, and unintentionally with Coyotes goalie Mike Smith. There's no consistency in what Shanahan has done this postseason. And by the way, Rafi Torres, uh, a year ago, to the day yesterday, a year ago to the day, he had this hit in the playoffs, first round on Brent Seabrook. Check this out. Hanson's after the puck against Brower. Hey! Rafi Torres just wait. Oh, he yeah. had his head turned to accept the puck, and now they're talking about it at the timekeeper's bench, and I wonder if they'll throw the book at him. You know how many games he got for that offense? None. You know a penalty he served? Two minutes. Two minutes. That's it for throwing an elbow into Brent Seabrook's jaw and knocking him out. He, after, he actually suffered a concussion there. Uh, so a brutal hit there. Torres is known for, having, uh, for being a headhunter. He has a history. He should be suspended. Some are saying for the rest of the, rest of the playoffs. I mean, uh, Eddie Olchek, the uh, Blackhawks color commentator, and he also worked the Olympics. He works for NBC Sports. He calls a lot of big games in the NHL. He said there should be a 10-game suspension for Rafi Torres. Either way, you never know what you're going to get with Brendan Shanahan. He needs to, seriously, I'm calling him out. He needs to get his head out of his ass and start suspending guys more than they actually should. Again, Shea Weber getting nothing. Uh, Torres, we'll see what he gets. Inconsistency is not the key to these playoffs and handing out fines and suspensions.